name is Nick Holden and I'm a junior from Briarcliff, Briarcliff High School in Briarcliff Manor, New York. And I studied the immune response of colorectal epithelial cells to Clostridium difficile toxin A and toxin B. It's usually the hospital place where patients can go in order to heal, but unfortunately Clostridium difficile is a bacterial infection that's making the hospital a very dangerous place. Clostridium difficile infects over 250,000 people in the United States alone each year, causing over 30,000 mortalities and over $1 billion in health care. The bacteria are transmitted via spores that uh, are passed from patient to patient and when the spores are enter a patient, uh, enter a patient's colon, they begin to germinate and they secrete two toxins that are very cytotoxic and they induce a very strong inflammatory response from the host causing uh, the diarrhea associated with the disease. And so this is the aspect of Clostridium difficile that I looked at and basically what I did was I took uh, colorectal cell lines in a lab and exposed them to uh, bacterial toxins, uh, toxin A and toxin B, and uh, then I observed their immune response and by that I mean I observed their cytokine secretion and basically cytokines are proteins that regulate the immune system and so I uh, exposed the cells to uh, the toxins and observe their cytokine secretion in order to further understand the mechanisms of this immune response. And so basically what I found was that uh, interleukin-8, which is one of these cytokines, uh, plays a very significant role uh, in this inflammatory response. And I uh, found two cell lines, uh, RKO and COLO-205, which are good model cell lines for future studies. Thanks for watching.